uh, season one episode seven this one's called penguins umbrella so guys of course i'm looking forward to seeing this next episode the last episode is with the spirit of the go which was just freaking nuts uh it's basically this lady hypnotizing uh you know certain people and to basically do like her dirty work or whatever he, she was trying to prove you're basically like doing the exact same way as you know whatever harvey encountered 10 years ago so he when harvey countered the first guy there are certain things that he you know he's done and then when they encountered the second guy which is like the janitor i think uh he did the exact same thing like and harvey already knew what the whole thing was with the spirit of the go and of course you know harvey figured out it was the uh the lady at the end of the episode but yeah harvey did kill the first spirit of the goat and then of course when the second one came out pretty much everyone was confused of, on how this is even possible but it's something like it's pretty pretty much like identical things that were happening from 10 years ago until you know the present glad that harvey figured it out and it was pretty cool how he did figure it out it was her the whole time or at least this you know in the past like 10 years that she's been doing this hey guys i definitely cannot wait to see his next episode uh gotham is just a freaking great show so far i'm enjoying it very much i just like the the mystery in the show i like to figure things out and this is definitely the show where you're trying to figure things out like what's going on stuff like that and i'm having a great time with it but anyway, guys up uh, before this video begins guys i want to thank tom for sponsoring this video through the patreon page make sure it's going on the page to get the full reaction also consider supporting the channel as well anyway guys let's get into this next episode for gotham <laughs> Oh, weird how he walked. Well, yeah. He's alive. His legs got messed up. No. Oh, What's Fish, fish, fish Moody found didn't out. Kill Penguin like he was told. What? Penguin is still alive and working for Maroni. I'm Gordon, and you bring him to me. Still breathing. <laughs> Barbara, listen to me. I need you to get out right now. Game's over. Now I gotta kill you and take your body back to Falcone and beg. Beg him for mercy! But I have a plan to make things right. Don't kill me. Help me. You think I'm an idiot? Walk away! Walk away! We don't have to go out like this. You better hope you never see me again. Well, they're not friends now. What a place, huh? A beautiful home for a beautiful lady. Jim. Hey! Speak of the devil. It's just getting to know your lovely lady. You trespass and get out. Come on, you know the rules. You play nice, you take your lumps. Nobody else gets hurt. Tell your friend to drop his gun or I'll blow his brains out. Okay. Have it your way. But now, after we kill you, we're gonna kill Blondie too. Ah! Oh! He's not playing. Go. Oh, here's Victor. Here we go. Hello, everyone. My name is Victor Zaz. I'm Victor sent here Zaz. personally by Don Carmine Falcone himself. I'm here for Jim Gordon. Only him. Everybody else, mind your business and we're cool. Jim! It's like, good luck. Hi, Jim. Relax. We're supposed to take you in alive. Oh, Falcone will talk, but not today. Don't be that way. There are 50 cops in here. Try something. Everybody out. Please? They're gonna move. Cowards. Cowards. He's the only one I can stand up. Oh, now, Jim. She was dead, man. I feel bad for her. This is about tradition, values. Snitches get stitches. That's how it's always been. You need to hand him over, sir. Penguin! 
Come on out here. This Mooney and her boss feel disrespected by you. That certainly has never been my intention. I've in any way caused anyone to feel a lack of respect. I apologize, sincerely. There you go. <laughs> Can't say fairer than that. You little scaly face bitch. Sorry, you feel that way, fish. <laughs> 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 Sisters? How's it hanging? What the hell's going on? Holy! Did he really do that? Tell your boss Falcon won't let any of Maroney's trucks over the bridge. Not until he gives up Penguin. So listen, you gotta get hurt a little. You want a beating or a bullet? Oh, I'm serious. No problem. Eh, uh, you know what? I promised I would find your parents' killer. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to keep that promise. It's a long story, but I'm kind of in a tight spot. Stop treating me like a child. Explain. Bruce, you are a child. You don't need to know. You expect to die. I'd like to know why. Is it connected to my parents' murder? Yes, it's all connected. Here on end, I have to go it alone. I don't what? want anyone else caught up in this. I have to go. You can hardly walk. I'll be fine. Oh. Yeah, Bruce Bruce cares about it, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh, here we go. This way. It's there. Uh oh. <laughs> he does not care. Oh. Told you. Easy as pie. Very clever. I sense a sarcastic and hostile edge to your tone. Hostile? <laughs> Damn, see, I... I got that right. For you, it's money. You love money. <laughs> More than power and respect. Or a skin flint, Mr. Carpo. A cheapskate. What are you guys playing, man? Let me go. Sorry, Frankie. Consequently, you don't pay your people enough. It is a sad you, you don't want fact no. that there is no, no loyalty no. among thieves. No. The simple offer of a substantial pay raise is all it took to sway these fine men. Your greatest passion becomes your greatest no. weakness. No. Damn it! <laughs> What? He looked at me like, why'd you kiss him? My good friend, today is a sad day. Nikolai was like a son to me. Your little man there is obviously very valuable to you. You give us something in return. Like such as what? One of your warehouses on the river, maybe. That's not gonna work. I mean, I like this fella, but we're talking about a warehouse on the river. Yeah, I'll give you Indian Hill. I'm not familiar with the name. It's an Arkham. It's a toxic waste dump on top of an Indian burial ground. It's worthless. Nothing is worth something. We'll take it. Jump it, catfish. Good morning, Mayor James. Get the bejeebers out of me. Almost spilled my coffee. Sorry. Sir, you're under arrest. That's not funny. Depends where you're sitting. I want to take a look at this. Armand Falcone, you're under arrest. What on earth are you thinking? We're thinking we'll take you both to jail and charge you with conspiracy to pervert the course of justice. Try and take me in, you won't make it to the end of the street. It's a lawful arrest. If you resist, you will be shot. Suppose you did have something to lose. What would you do then? Suppose, for instance, I had a knife to Barbara Keene's throat right now. You're a liar. I have many faults, but I'm not a liar. Damn, you're lying. No. She's far away. She came back. Came right to me to plead for your life. Prove you have her. I could, but I won't. Go ahead and try to bring me in. Those muffins smell good. None for you can have one if she wants. Damn, yeah, he was not no, lying. Thank you. Oh, this is embarrassing. He straight up bluffed you into folding. We could have gone out like heroes, now we're fish food. Okay, so it wasn't a bluff. I'm sorry if she was mistreated a little. We needed to be sure she had nothing useful to tell us. 
I'm sorry. Herb, it's wait. Okay. Oh, of course you can. What am I going to do with you? I'm late for work. Quite an adventure. I'll be on my way. Gotham needs men like you, both of you. Strong men with principles. I wish I could make you see I'm not the enemy. <laughs> Any eggs, my dears? Oh, what is he doing? On Valcon. My friend, good to see you. I was just thinking about the night we met. He's damn smart. Cut him down. What? Apple pot, is it? What can you tell me before you go? Indeed, I can tell a secret of great value to you. If you grant me one last request. Which is what? Give the job of killing me to James Gordon. Why him? The only man under your sway who has a conscience. The only one who might be persuaded to spare my life. You agree. And Gordon spares me. Then I will become your snitch for life. What is the valuable secret? Oh, yes. Ishmuni and Nikolai the Russian will pretend to hate each other. They're lovers. And Fish is pushing Nikolai to take your place. That is a good secret. But I think we're making a mistake letting Gordon live. Thank you so much for sparing him. I appreciate the favor. You'll see the light. One way or another, I guarantee it. Wow, Pig was the one that spared him. Or got at least Falcon to spare him. Dude, I should not be even surprised that Falcon knows like pretty much everything that's going on with, you know, definitely uh, Fish Mooney, uh, Nick, uh, Nikolai, uh, all these people. He knows pretty much everything. He knew he was going to kill Penguin, but then when Penguin pleaded to him like, hey, I could be your snitch, he let him live and of course let him prove to him that, hey, I'm on your side. So yeah, basically, you know, Penguin's been pretending, you know, under Maroney to be like his friend or whatever and, you know, basically to get to the top of, you know, be, you know, of his trust. And he did. He, you know, Maroney does trust uh, uh, Penguin. So I really thought Penguin was doing this on his own. I really thought that. I really thought he was doing this on his own thing. But he's under uh, Falcone's uh, power at this point. So, but uh, Penguin's been pretty much under Falcone this whole time. And I'm just like, what? Yo, this dude Falcone is just so freaking smart. Like, you just... He's always like two steps ahead of you and you don't even know it. And that's pretty much what this episode proved right there that he was already ahead of the game. So yeah, Falcone already has a plan to basically get rid of uh, Maroney. Uh, you know, I don't know what he's going to do with Fish Maloney. I have no idea. I don't know what he's, you know, he's going to do to everyone, but he already has a plan in place. He does. And, and basically at the end of the episode, uh, Penguin did help uh, get Gordon's uh, life spared. And I'm really surprised about that one. Uh, definitely when he tried to arrest uh, Falcone and the mayor even Victor was like wait why are you letting him live and of course he told him to be quiet because he already has his plan in place dude this episode is really really freaking good and I definitely cannot wait to see more of this uh this is great I love this episode but you guys uh, please leave a like in the comment on the video make sure you just go on the Patreon page to get the full reaction also consider supporting the channel as well and you guys hope you guys have a wonderful day I'll see you guys next Gotham